All right, YouTubers, I've got a 2003 Mini Cooper S. Uh, the airbags were deployed, as you can see here. Uh, when I push in the clutch and I try to start it, the engine won't crank over. Um, all the lights will come on, but it acts like it's going to, but all you hear is a click. And um, I've read on many of the different forums how people have had what's called a, uh, a BST. It's a battery safety uh, terminal, I guess you could call it, where a, uh, I, I know them as a squid, uh, where it's a little explosion that uh, Mini Cooper has in their battery cable because the battery's on the inside of the vehicle. Um, and so they have a safety device that's been put into place that if something were to happen to the battery, the battery won't explode or the or won't catch on fire. So they've put this uh, device in there that uh, separates uh, the main battery cable. So you've got two different uh, connections that go to it, and I will show you what those connections are now and show you a quick fix that you have to do on your own uh, just knowing that if anything were to happen and the battery were to go bad then then yes there is a safety problem there but <clears throat> here's the battery cable and remember this is an S model and I think it's the S model that only has that and with this you have a you have two different battery uh, cables here you have one that comes right here and goes down and around and that's that right there and that goes to all your uh, uh, instrument panel and everything else so the lights will come on this goes to the uh, starter cable and as you can see I'm going to try to get a little closer here I don't know if I can but right here um, you can see this little catch right here where the battery has exploded how the ca uh, cable has uh, popped, the squid has gone off, push the uh, other part of the battery ta uh, cable back away from the other main. And so what I did is I took and pried, I pried this little black box open, this little black connector, and so you can see how it's disconnected right there. So what you do is you just take it and you rehook it hook it back together like that and then you're gonna need to get some kind of a uh, some different uh, pieces to put down in each side of this right there and right there so the cable won't come disengaged from this connection and this is just a short-term fix it's not a it's not a uh, it's not a highly safe thing I'd say uh, at some point in time, you're going to have to replace that, but you're going to have to do this on your own, <laughs> uh, on your on your own safety, and just knowing that uh, this isn't a this is just a quick fix to get your vehicle running again until you can afford to replace this cable. Um, but uh, you can go ahead and and put pieces in here uh, to hold it uh, so it won't uh, separate like it was before, and then you can take your uh, cable here. Uh, the other part of the cover and put that other part of the cover right back on after you put the pieces in there but just to kind of show you what's happened now since I've connected that up I'm going to tighten this up right here and that was one thing I did see as you twist your battery uh, terminal it kind of makes it where that separates again so you kind of got to watch that and kind of push the terminal over and then tighten it up and I'm going to set this down here real quick so I can tighten that up so I've gone ahead and put my casing back together and in the process I took a piece of a uh, little piece of paper well it's cardboard uh, bent the cardboard over, doubled it up like that, and then stuck it down on the either side, both sides. I put a piece on both sides, and then uh, to hold it so it wouldn't separate again. And then I put the cover back on it. So let's go ahead and 
go ahead and try starting it and see if it starts up. So, let's take a look here. Well, it starts up. You still have your your airbag light on, uh, and and uh, from everything I understand, uh, you're going to have to replace that little module to get that airbag light to come off. Even if you had these airbags replaced, um, it's just as it has a sensor that it goes through and tests and and sees that that was deployed. So you'll have to replace that little. Uh, that little uh, that battery cable to make that good and along with the airbags and and just check the system but there's a quick fix anyway for a 2003 Mini Cooper S and I think that goes from 2002 to 2006 where the batteries are in the back and it's called a BST uh, battery cable uh, battery safety terminal I believe that's what it is so hopefully that helps you out